use Kruskal's algorithm to find the minimum spanning tree for the network drawn below and calculate its total distance. So for Kruskal's algorithm, there are basically two steps or two things to be careful. You start from the, the lowest distance or the least distance and make sure that you don't form a cycle or you don't form a loop. Okay, so let's start from D. Say D is, so let's say D is the center. So which is the, you need to ask the question, two things, the lowest distance or the least distance between the nodes have to be connected first. So D and F can be connected. So let's say D and F are connected. So this is 20. Okay. Now which is the next, after 20, you've got 24, you've got 25 between B and A and B. And you go to between D and C. So let's do C here. So this is C, which is at a distance of 25. And you can also connect between B and C, B and A. So let's say B is here and A is here. You can connect that those because that's also 25. Okay, so we have taken care of uh, 20 and 25, which is the next. The next is you've got 30. So you can connect between B and D, which is a distance of 30. Okay, so this is a distance of 30. So which is the next one? <clears throat> so let's cross off the nodes that we have connected. We have co connected this 20, we got this 25, we got this 25 and this 30. Okay, which is the next? After 30, obviously you've got 35. So can it be connected between D and G? Yes, it can be connected between D and G because it's not forming a loop. So let's connect between D and G. So D and G, this is G here, and that is 35. So that, that's taken care of. The next is 40. Okay, so can we for, connect between D and H? Yes, because you can connect between D and H because that's not forming a loop. So D and H is here. H is 40. The distance between D and H is 40. Now, this is the next one. Next, do we have a 45? You have a 45 here, but can we connect D and G, C and G? No, because if you connect C and G, it is forming a loop. Okay, so you should not connect this. Okay, which is the next? Uh, you got after 45 you got 50 where do you have 50 you got between a and e which is 50 and f and h is also 50 but you should not connect between f and h because that's forming a loop okay so uh, so let me just select the white so but you can connect between a and e because that is not forming a loop okay so now are all the nodes connected so you got a b c d E, F, G, H. So all the loops are, sorry, all the nodes are connected and uh, you can uh, find this and calculate the total distance. So the total distance would be, so let me use a calculator. So the total distance, you have to just add the distances. Okay, so what is this distance? This is 50, A to E is 50. So let's add them up. Just add the distance between the nodes. So let's start from here. So this is 20, 50 plus 25 is 75 plus 30 plus 25 is 55 plus 30 plus 25 is 55. This is again, this is how much? This is 60 plus 35 is 95, which is 225. So the total distance uh, the total distance of the minimum spanning tree is 225 units, whatever that unit can be. It can be time, it can be distance, whatever that unit is. So the total distance, this is the distance of course, this is all in meters or kilometers. So that the total distance of the minimum spanning tree is 225.